he was uh, one of the sweetest men you ever want to talk to. I never had an argument with him. Oh, I had a couple of spots with him, but uh, we both apologized and moved on. And we did one show every, uh, Burl did three shows, Hope did one. That was the schedule for the season. Uh, so we generally meet at Bob's house. He had a great office, uh, still there. Uh, and we'd meet with the writers. He had four permanent writers that were on staff uh, who would, would do most of the sketch work. He had other writers that he would buy jokes from. So he was always people coming in throwing jokes at him. So we would work, say, from 10 in the morning till 1, and uh, we'd break. He'd go play golf every afternoon because he's right next to the lakeside. I would go into the studio and be there to coordinate was a singer or a dance group or uh, anything that did not include Mr. Hope, we would rehearse at NBC uh, during the afternoon. We'd break for dinner. Bob would come in around 7 o'clock and start working the sketches. And we'd work till 1, 2 in the morning. Now, you've got to remember, like Bob was, all these comedians, that was their nightlife. They didn't work in the afternoon. They liked working at night. And he carried that over in his rehearsal. So that some of the days were long. Uh, he also had a fetish. He never slept. He never slept the full night's sleep. Really? So two or three times a night, I'd get a call at home. Do this, do that. Uh, check on this. And I had a pad of paper because he, one night he called me. He said, I want to read this joke to you. And I said, OK. He read me the joke. And there was a pause. He said, well, and I said, Bob, I'm going to be straight honest with you. I don't think it's very funny. And he said, wait, and hung up. Well, the other thing we did the show, he did the joke with his looks, his pauses, his phrasing. The house went wild. And he turned to me off stage and went <laughs> like that. Never said a word. <laughs>